guys, what's up? My name is Gio. Welcome back to my channel. Um, we are bringing you another Spookfest video. This one's going to be a little bit fun because it hits close to home. Today we are going to be doing Cosmo from the Fairly Odd Parents. Um, I've got a couple tricks up my sleeve because we are going to do girl version because Cosmo is one of my favorite characters from the Fairly Odd Parents. He's always the really happy one, kind of is a little bit dramatic if you will um, but we're gonna just hop right into it I've already done my eyebrows and primed my eyes off camera we're gonna hop into some face paint um, if this is your first spook fest video click the link down below it'll take you down to the playlist that'll show all of the videos that I'm filming this Halloween season without further ado let's hop right into it so my eyes are already primed um, I'm gonna go in with the sugar pill fun size palette this palette is so cute so I'm going to hop in with a deluxe crease brush by Real Techniques and I'm just going to start packing the shade in here called Twitch and it's a very like lime green almost neon pastel and I'm just going to work that into my crease as my transition. We are going to darken Cosmo up just a little. I'm just kind of pressing the shadow in like in a tapping motion just to kind of get as much color payoff as possible. You can absolutely just blend the color in circles, but I feel like with the techniques that I use for color, this is the best way to get a great payoff. And then I am going to do kind of a winged outlook today, so it is going to be kind of like a faux wing. So I'm just kind of going at the bottom of my eyelid, and I'm pulling outward. And I haven't done face, obviously, yet, so I am going to clean this up when it's done but I just want to make sure that I have the product where I want it before I start cleaning up. This is such a fun shade. I'm like a huge pastel person. I'm not a huge fan of green though, which is weird, but I think it's because I have like olive tone skin. So, so whenever I wear green, it kind of like does something to my skin that I don't like. This green right now is fine, but if I hop into like more foresty greens, I just kind of look muddy. So I usually, stay away from green now that we've got all this jazz on my eyeballs i am going to hop in with hop in with my huda beauty emerald obsession um i'm gonna hop in with this green on the back here it's like a kind of a essential crease brush and i'm just gonna start working that in on the outer v of my eyeball Again, I'm just doing tapping motions. I find with color, it gives it the best color payoff. So I'm just kind of keeping it below that crease line. And I'm just doing small circular motions to blend out that color. So pretty much what I'm doing is I'm tapping the color on and then I'm blending the color out, keeping it within that outer V of my eye. I'm gonna do a halo eye, so I am gonna take the deluxe crease brush and I'm going to go ahead and start lightly doing circle motions here in the front portion of the eye. This color reminds me of cream soda, which if you guys don't know, I was actually born and raised in Johannesburg, South Africa. On my trip home, I actually got to have some, which was like surreal. It's still as good as I remember. So I'm just kind of blending that deluxe crease brush in the middle portion as well. I'm gonna do a cut crease for the halo eye, so it's fine if it looks a little messy at first. I'm gonna hop in with the shade by Sugar Pill again. It's called Twitch, and I'm just gonna kind of go on the inner half of my eye, and I'm gonna go ahead and blend that green out. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slightly lift the eye a little with that faux wing. And I'm going to go just a little above where we stop that shade. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend outward like a faux wing. And then I'm going to go back in with Sugar Pill, the color Twitch. And I'm just going to blend out that shadow. Awesome, so now we're gonna cut the crease. So I'm gonna put a little concealer on the back of my hand and I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to cut my crease for the halo eye. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of pop it right in the center and then I'm gonna look up. And that's gonna tell me where I need to kind of cut the crease. So I'm going to go ahead and slowly start blending. I haven't done a halo eye in a really long time. 
awesome now a great technique I've learned with halo eyes you're gonna want to blend the outer portion of the halo eye with your finger just to kind of almost set it in a way the the front end of where the concealer ends and you just want to pat it down so with another flat top and some setting spray I'm gonna hop into my Morphe Boss Mood palette and I'm going to go in with the green shade that's right here and I'm gonna start placing the product right in the middle I'm gonna go in with the green shade from the Huda Beauty palette and I'm just gonna start tapping on the sides and blending out where I need to blend to make the halo eye just to kind of clean it up all right guys I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back all right guys I am done with the other eye but I'm gonna hop in and I'm actually going to add a little something something in the Huda Beauty um, Emerald Obsessions palette there is a little shade right here at the top in the in the left hand corner um, and I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna go in with my finger and I'm just gonna kind of tap that press glitter on top of the shade I already placed down. I'm gonna hop in with a little detailer brush and I'm going to kind of accentuate the halo eye. So I'm gonna go in with that forest green shade and I'm just going to really like establish a line for that crease almost, just to kind of give my crease a little bit more depth. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the edges with a makeup wipe really quick. I'm making sure to really accentuate the wing look. Pretty much this is the same routine that I do every single day and on every single video. So if you're sick and tired of it and you don't wanna watch, then you can skip. I will go ahead and put the timestamps below. I swear, Urban Decay's foundations are so good. I wanna try their new foundation, but I am too scared because I have oily skin and I don't know what it's gonna look like. But I'm just using the All Nighter foundation. Once upon a time, many blue moons ago, I used to use their um, Naked Skin Foundation, but my skin is too oily, and yeah, I had to call it quits. It really is such a nice foundation. It just doesn't sit on my skin for very long. And then I also use the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation, and correct me if I'm wrong, or if anybody's experienced this, but I just feel like it's so moussey that it literally falls off your skin. But I like the finish of it, so it was like, I just kept using it for years and years and years. Tell me why it's 12 o'clock at night and I'm filming this, like, I don't have shit to do tomorrow. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and conceal. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and bake with my, my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. I'm gonna leave the bake on for a second and I'm gonna go ahead and go in with liquid liner. I'm just using the Kat Von D tattoo ink liner and I'm just using this to outline it literally is the most easy way to put on a wing honestly if you're a beginner this is the best eyeliner ever I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeliner it's their new one it is so good it is so black they really don't lie I'm just going to go ahead in with the sugar pill palette and I am going to go in with twitch on the under eye we'll go the the to add some Wanda in here I'm gonna go ahead and add the shade level up to the the middle of my halo eye I got a little Wanda going on underneath which is really awesome I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the bake really quick so for contour shade, I'm going in with this green shade and I'm just going to go ahead and work that into my cheekbone. I'm actually going to go in with the shade from the James Charles palette, this little green shade right here, just because it's a little bit lighter and less swampy green than the one that I just put on. Awesome guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do mascara and lashes off camera and then I'll be right back to finish up the video. All right, so I just did lashes off camera and I feel like I've used these lashes like pretty much 80% of these videos for Spookfest, but I'm using the Iconic Lashes by House of Lashes. They're one of my favorite lashes like on the planet ever. Um, but I did put some colored contacts in. 
it just gives the look just a little extra something, which I really like. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a blush. I'm gonna use my Tarte Tried and True. I'm gonna go in with a very pink blush. I'm in the shade Lovable. And I'm just gonna pop that on the apples of my cheeks. Make it really animated looking because obviously he is a animated character. And then I'm gonna put some pink on the nose as well. I usually do this anyway. It's cause it makes the nose look super, super cute. But I'm gonna kinda go a little overboard more than normal. All right, next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with highlight. How could we forget highlight, right? So I'm gonna use the Anastasia Dream Palette. Um, and I'm gonna go in with the shade. How about we go in with the shade Wish, just to stay on theme here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that on my cheekbones. I'm gonna put it on the bridge of my nose. And then the tip as well. Before I forget, I am going to do the inner corner of my eye as well. I'm going to hop in with this gold shade right here from the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions palette. And I'm just going to pop this gold into the inner corner of my eye. Cosmo doesn't really have a lip shade. Obviously, Cosmo is portrayed as a male character in Fairly Odd Parents. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add a little pink um, to this look just because obviously Wanda is such a big part of Fairly Odd Parents and she does really um, add to the dynamic. So I'm going to go in with Berlin by Kat Von D and I'm just going to dot it all around my lips. I'm not really going to go in for a shape. I'm just dotting it around and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my finger and I'm just going to pat in the color. Okay, last but not least, I did not buy a fairy crown for this look, which I feel so bad about. So, I, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop in with some $2 face paints that I literally got at Walmart. I am going to go ahead and add a little fairy crown just right on top of my eyebrow um, just for pretty much dramatic effect. And I'm going to slowly, slowly, emphasis on slowly, not ruin this look. So I'm going to hop on here. I'm just kind of slowly outlining because it's turning out that this is a lot more difficult than I thought. I kind of don't like how the black paint is laying down. So what I'm going to do is go in with an eyeliner that I have. This is the Tardis Clay Paint Liner. It's one of my favorite liners ever. I'm completely allergic to it if I put it on my eyes. Okay, so going in with a Q-tip, I'm just kind of cleaning the insides of this crown slowly but surely. Just so that when I add that yellow paint in, that it goes on seamlessly. So I'm going to hop in with the yellow paint. And I'm actually just going to dot it. Because it seems like it's more pigmented if you dot it. I want you to show me Alright guys, so this is pretty much the completed look. I obviously went over a couple times and layered the yellow paint on top of my eyebrow. I just added a white um, fitted shirt with a little black tie because that is Cosmo's fit. I added a green wig because obviously Cosmo has green hair. This is what I landed up with which is really exciting it actually turned out way better than I thought and I think this is one of my favorite looks so um, I got this wig on Amazon I'm gonna link all the products that I use down below um, if this is your first Spookfest video that you're watching welcome to my channel my name is Gia I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching if you have there's a couple more looks coming your way so keep an eye out for those go ahead and click the bell icon down below to be notified every time that I upload alright guys that's it for this video this is the completed look if you guys have questions please leave them down below as always have a great rest of your day night or wherever in the world that you're watching this i'm gia bye